Well done, a real topsy-turvy battle with Mark Davis. How pleased you to come through that one? Yeah, it was a really good match overall. I thought Mark played really well. Um, early on, his safety was really good, didn't let me in. And um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was certainly a match that was, that was worthy of a decider. And um, yeah, he just missed a, a really um, sort of tricky black pair to give himself a good chance to win. And um, thankfully, he just, he, he just missed it. And um, yeah, made a really good uh, frame-winning break. I think, um, yeah, it was, there, was, there was a lot of really good frames of snooker in that match. You said the other day you're looking to try and sort of build your form ahead of that the title defence of the UK Championship. How, how much are you looking forward to going over to York and stepping out as defending champion in front of a crowd? Yeah, I, I, you know, can't wait for that really. I think um, York was, was one of the first tournaments that I thought of when um, you know, I couldn't wait to sort of get back to once the season you know, starts with the, with the crowds again. I think you know, that's always one that all the players love, love going to. There's always kind of like a lot to do in between matches and stuff and, you know, practice facilities, the, the venue and the, the town is, is perfect. So, um, yeah, it's, it's one that I'm really looking forward to and, um, yeah, things are building nicely. It, looking back on that, that final with Judd last year, it, 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 it was a real epic battle in terms of the drama and obviously mm. finishing on the, on the late, late at night and the, the final pink. Is, is that, is that there is sort of a slight tinge of sadness that the, there weren't any fans there to witness that? I'm sure the atmosphere would have been electric for that. Um, yeah, but I mean, I don't know how Judd feels, but I think that even when there's not a crowd there, just when two players are just in the zone like that trying to win a match, you know, you don't, me personally, I don't really kind of notice the crowd that much. It's more kind of afterwards when you win or when you lose um, that you kind of really get the atmosphere. You, know, you can kind of sort of soak it in. Um, so... Yeah, you have to ask other players how they feel, but I, I kind of generally kind of feed off the crowd throughout a match, and then the tense moments you don't really pick up too much on the crowd because you know you're trying hard enough as it is, you know, and, you, and you're just already ultra focused. You and Judd always seem to have matches that go right down to the very wire, but that I mean that really was on the on the, the final pink. Is that, is that one that almost stick with you more in your memory? The, the fact that even though there was no crowd, it was right down to the very end there. Yeah, yeah, no, it will do for sure. I mean. Um, you know, I think that, you know, you didn't really kind of need a crowd to make it any more tense. It was evident of, of you know, the display of the final where it was very topsy-turvy, could have gone either way. And, um, you know, so maybe someone who was more inexperienced probably would have noticed the effects of that more. But um, for me, not so much. So, but the thing is, is that obviously going back this year as defending champion and, you know, I'm kind of really looking forward to... Um, to getting back up there and, and, and competing that tournament once again. And, and on this week, you know, it, it's the quarterfinals now. It's obviously only the second time you've been in, in the final stages of a tournament this season, so it's quite early early doors for you. But how, how do you feel your game's at? Karen Wilson will be up next. Yeah, my, yeah, my game's building and building. And, um, you know, yeah, it was, it was nice to kind of finish that off. It was a, a pretty fluent match, nice and open. And, you know, that's the key. I just got to make sure I'm involved in as many um, sort of uh, open matches as possible because that, that suits me. And then, you know, if, if you get hammered, then so be it. But you'd rather kind of always lose um, in an open game of snooker rather than one that can kind of drag on a bit. So um, I think that's certainly certainly the focus with, with whoever you play. Yeah, and in terms of playing Kyron Wilson up next, what sort of challenge does he pose as, a, as an opponent? Um, he's got a really good all-round game. Um, you know, he never kind of gives in, which which showed in the World Championships. I think that, you know, if, a few times I was, you know, I was, well, I was literally within an inch from going sort of three frames up on him a few times, and you know, he sort of dug in and then ended up winning those frames. And so he's got great great ability to kind of stick in a match and never give in. And you know, he's, he's nicknamed the Warrior for a reason. He, he kind of really fights and and really wants it so um you know it's a fantastic challenge to f for me to face so early in the season and um yeah look, look forward to the match